Hello everybody, I'm Rich. And I'm Jace. And we're bringing about a war game in. That's a bad reflection of that light, isn't it? Oh, you're right. oh, never mind. Um, right, obviously, a uh, special one for us today. I got my dates wrong, but we are a year old. So we've got cake. We've got cake. It ain't got a candle on it. So, go. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna fight over the cake. Okay, so uh, it's a boat action game today. It's scenario twelve, which is uh, table quarters. Yeah. So uh, that's going to be bloody. And what we decided to do is just bring it all. <sighs> so Jace has brought all the models he's got. I brought all the models I got. I didn't get me F2 special done, which looking at the battlefield, kind of wish I had. Um, I've had to go uh, quite a lot of veterans because Jace has generally got more points than me anyway. It's going to be an ugly game. It's got the potential of being a long game because it's six turns, but I don't think it will go the full distance, uh, which means we might have to change our filming format and do a bit more summary, which we don't yeah. like doing. We like showing you the dice rolls, but there's going to be points where we're thinking it won't be worth filming that, and we'll just um, carry on. If we were talking about it, if Jason goes to roll some dice and he needs a load of sixes, we probably won't film that. We'll pause the filming. But if he suddenly gets jamming, rolls a load of sixes, we'll restart the filming and I'll be like, Ugh. <laughs> here we go. So uh, we'll do that. So there might be a bit more summary than usual. It's a big game. I mean, I've got 19 dice and you've got 20, 21, no, 24, 23, 24 dice. Um, it's 2,350 odd points. points. <laughs> I'm so outnumbered, it's scary. Uh, you'll see the army list in a minute. But uh, from Jason myself, we'd like to say thanks ever so much for all the subscribers um, and all the comments. It's great, hardly any thumbs down, which is fantastic for a first year. And we'll just, we'll just keep growing and growing and doing what we like doing and always playing for the rule of cool. So we'll always field models we like fielding and not worry too much about. The rules. And we're going to do it for a laugh anyway. Yeah, it's only for a laugh. It's, it's kind of, I thought about it, it's like an off the wall documentary. We're having a game and you happen to be watching. And um, it's like when you go to a convention, and we had it when we've done a big convention in Plymouth, uh, Plymouth Wargaming Society, one of the longest serving uh, wargaming groups in Plymouth. Uh, they run a um, big convention the first or second week of February. I yeah. think it's the second week, isn't it? No, it's the first. Is week. it the first week? I think it's the first. Yeah. Week. So we, you know, you you walk around, you watch a game. Oh, this is interesting. You watch it for a few minutes and you walk on. And that's how we view our battle reports. You come in, you watch them. You obviously scan through and and, and catch some other bits and pieces, and and that's that's fine. It's like flying the war documentary. You're you're walking by, you're watching our game, and then you're moving on. But we still love the subscriptions. We still love the content. We love the comments, especially when it's queer in the rules, because it makes me look them up, and then I tend to remember them a lot better. So I'm waffling on. So we'll go straight into the armies, and then we'll do a flyby over the battlefield. And I am so dead. But at least I've got cake to cheer me up. Only if you win. You never said that. <laughs> God, if we base that on that, I should be a lot thinner. So I just might as well take it now. You might as well take it now, <laughs> fatty. Right. I'm not fair. Right, okay. So, armies, battlefield, preparatory bombardment. Yes. And then we're cracking with the game. Um, this is where you destroy, destroy the tanks. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be so upset. Well, it'll be a very short game if he does that. See you soon. See you guys. Okay, so here's my 2,300 and something point army. Uh, we have my uh, lieutenant. He is, for the first time ever, a first lieutenant, and he is a veteran. He's joined by a veteran medic and a veteran um, forward observer. Yes, I've got a forward observer. I just thought it would be a laugh because Jace is always bringing down the barrage. I thought I'd do the same to him, but I had to pay for mine. I then have three units of Schutzen, uh, and these have got two LMGs, and they're veterans, so I've got one there, one there, and i got one there, and they are going to be riding in uh, half-track Hannah Mag. I also have another Hannah Mag, and that's got a Pac-38R um, heavy anti-tank gun, 
and both the Hanna Mags half tracks have got MMGs. I then have a Pioneer squad with a flamethrower and six men, including the NCO, all have SMGs, and they are riding in the uh, half track 25010, otherwise known as the door knocker because it's got a light anti tank gun. So that the vehicles are regular, the men are veterans. I then come over to my armored car or my Gruber's little tank. That's a regular and that comes with an auto cannon and an MMG. I then have the primer mover, which is regular, as is the uh, Gruber's car, in case I didn't say that. I then have a veteran. I don't know how long this is going to last, but I've got a veteran 88. A veteran Panzer III. And I know I'm fielding a DAC army, but like we said in the intro, we're just fielding what we got. And I've got a veteran target tank. He's kind of turned up. Because the rest of the army is uh, legal, really. And then I've got a mortar team, a veteran with a spotter. An MMG, which is a veteran. And I've actually got an anti-tank gun. And they're actually regular. So that is my army. And I've got a horrible feeling it's going to be barraged off the table. Okay, for today, I'll literally have got everything I have actually got physically painted. I'll be taking a first lieutenant with his little mate there. And also, he'll be backed up with not just one observer, but two! Because I know how much Rich likes them. And they'll have a medic there as well for the first time. And following that, I have got four units of 10 men, all with a LMG in it, and the le lieutenant has got a uh, submachine, uh, submachine gun. And I've also got two sniper units and one anti-tank rifle unit, also backed up with four units of five men, all in Brems, with a second lieutenant with a little mate in a Brem. With then also, then I've got my Daimler, my Crusader Mark III, and my Churchill Mark V, I think it is. And just to bring some milk barrage on top of him, I've got my 25 pounder, two medium mortar units, a six pounder gun, and a machine gun. And I'm hopefully that will be okay. And they're all regular. There's no veterans, oh, apart from the medic, just to make the points up a little bit. But apart from that, that's it. The Brems have all got the extra LMG on top, so I'll get some nice little bit of fire power out of that. So we'll see how this one goes. I'm hopefully going to black the hand out of him. Okay, here we are. So we've got my mortar team down here, my MMG here, I'll probably run them anyway. Got my Tiger on. I'm running as DAC, as you well know, but uh, I've got a Tiger as well. So I've got my infantry all tucked away in here. He's within six inches of them, so they get the command benefit. And I've got me four uh, spotter for me mortar here, four observer here. They've both got little targets on them because Jace has put his sniper there and sniper there. So they're both dead. And then we've got quite a few men here from Jason's army. He's got, for the first time ever, anti-tank rifle. And he's got a load of uh, men there, 40 men in total. And then he's got his two mortars, commander there, tank there, anti-tank there, which can see my tiger. So I'm really taking my chances here. And uh, the howitzer as well. And he's got his forward observer here and the other forward observer there. That's right, he's got two. One free, one he's had to buy. <laughs> Theoretically, then, you could get three. No, I think you because if you got one free, then no. you buy one for a platoon. If you have another platoon, you can have another forward observer. Yeah, if I had three platoons, I could, yeah. Jesus. All right, so there we go. And tucked down in here is another mortar spotter. Yeah. That's right. So 
there we go and uh, we're both going to roll for uh, bombardment in a minute we've decided this dry riverbed is actually a road so any vehicles that boot it along there can be quite uh, quite fast so victory points wise you get one for destroying a unit you get one for having a unit in your in the neutral zone so this is a neutral zone here that's a neutral zone there and you get three victory points for being in your points deployment zone and of course you've seen jace's army you know he's got a load of brands so i really am up against it here um and we'll see how it goes i think as usual i'll be quite aggressive with my tanks i don't know um but let's see what happens when the dust settles after the bombardment okay so the dust has settled pins everywhere pin pin two pins he actually rolled to damage my tank uh thankfully didn't damage it pin 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 pin, pin. and oh, what i did do is i lost a man there jace lost a man in that squad and i killed his medic i've pinned a couple of his tanks i had quite a few uh miles away because of course jace rolls two dice only roll one and I actually got to roll on his tank as well, but in the end only caused two pins. So that's it. So I'm using our old objective markers. This is turn one. Jace does have the advantage of dice. Now in here are, um, Jace didn't have enough dice. So there are some blue dice in here, which will represent Jason's models on his German first. So we'll be right back after this movement. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Don't have to. I'm going to put a fire order on him before he gets uh, snipered to death. And we'll just check his line of sight. Have you got a, have you got a dice I can use for a blast thingy? So we'll come round here. He's up there, on there. So I can put him there. Yeah. Put it there. Yeah. There we go. That'll do. That might be nice. All those dice that I managed to... Well, you can shoot them now, don't care. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, British. Okay, this sniper here fired at him. Failed to wound him, because he's a veteran. Um, but, yeah, Jason and I got confused. We're going to do this. He's got one pin on him. The mortar's got a pin on him. Do you add the two pins together? So the whole unit's class is minus two to the leadership. Jason and I have got come up with the conclusion that he would have to put a fire order at minus one to direct their shots, and they'd have to take an order test at minus one to actually fire. Uh, so that's what we're doing. Put it in the comments if we're wrong, because Jason and I have never really got our head around that. And the order dice was Jason's, so we'll come back in a sec. Do not. Jace has placed this um, anti-tank gun in a really good angle position to take shots down through the alleyway here and <clears throat> to cover this. And of course, there you go. There's his morale. So they've gone down. So that saved me Tiger for a turn. So I might get a free shot at that. British again, mate. Yep. Okay, Jace, what did you do, mate? Right, more team. So I need to leg it from there over to here. Makes sense. So it's all bed spot on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, there's a non nearby, is there? Um, my lieutenant is basically, oh, I'm going out of dodge, he's run over here. Yep, and your and tank. tank's decided he's going to go on ambush, just in case he comes down some alleyways. Right, okay. And it's, now the blue one represents Jason's um, men as well, so that's uh, one there. Jace put a fire order on the spotter that's in there. Uh, missed them, so it's five to so hit them next turn. Okay, Jace has put a fire order on this one to hit the men behind that building over there. And you know what we do in this game. So they've had to go down, which is great. Right, I moved Gruber's little tank over to there. Took a pot shot at his um, uh, anti-tank gun, but I didn't do anything. Okay, my uh, spotter survived another assassination attempt, so I thought I'm going to have to go for it this time. Uh, I don't know if I filmed it. I had a shot from him. 
onto his tank, trying to put pins on it. Uh, missed anyway, and then um, put a fire order on, aimed it at the tank, missed, but it means he's got to move his tank because I can actually hurt it with an indirect shot from a mortar because it's plus three. Uh, British again, sir. Jace has fired that squad into the spotter, but didn't do anything. Um, German. Okay, I brought my tank forward, trying to draw off the ambush there. He didn't take the bait. I fired out in miss, and the whole mountain machine gun shot at them. Didn't do anything either. So it's, uh, these pins are playing havoc with my game. Playing havoc with mine? <laughs> uh, British again, sir. Right. Jace moved this squad up here. Uh, to shoot the spotter here, sixes followed by sixes. He rolled two sixes but failed to follow that up with any more. Like I say, we're summarizing most of this, some of the key shots we might uh, film when it gets down to less than sixes followed by sixes. Right, the... Tell that. Jace tried to advance his anti tank, but it went down because he rolled an 11, and he's going to try and run these? Uh, no. No, we can do them then. I don't know. Oh, right. Chase passed a test, hooray! Some of the men shot at that, some of the men shot at him, and they all missed, so that's quite nice. But it's coming down to, I'm gonna to have to get Brave Moon Tiger in a minute, because you know how good I am with the Tiger, it either completely misses or blows up on the first turn, and he's got his tank on ambush, and I wanted to put more pins on it, but hey ho. Okay, I advanced my Tiger. It was such a narrow shot, it was going to be sixes followed by sixes, so he didn't bother. So he fired at the uh, anti tank gun, but failed to miss, obviously. And then the machine gun, home out machine gun, shot at them, killed one. Almost a special, but put a pin on them. And it's German again. Right, right so I've run him, run him. He's put a fire order there, so he's trying to take out both my tanks with indirect. He's going to fire his ambush, he's rolled a four plus, so he's going to have a shot at him. So it'll be hitting on fours, it's a long range. It's not long range, it's no. less than 30, so force to hit. Now, of course he does. Uh, plus five, you've got to get nine or more. Uh, yeah, it's a six medium, medium anti tank. Five, five glancing hit, D, D6 minus three. Five, four, three, two. Bear with us. Uh, roll of four, five, or six a minute. Okay, it's turret damage, so I've got to keep it like that now. So what uh, is it? Yep. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. You got a two, which I think is stunned or immobile. I might be immobilized. Uh, let me come right back. Yep, so uh, I take a turret jam, take an additional pin for that, so he's now on, he got hit. Turret's jammed, he's immobilized. Another immobilization and that tank's gone. So I've got a leech of a 10, minus three is seven. It'd be minus two to hit if I pass to try and take that tank out. So it's down to my tiger to save the day. Hmm. Let's be done then. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's my tiger in it. <laughs> it's no good whatsoever. Okay, so that's the end of turn one. Okay, turn two, barrages. We've done it, we've resolved it. Awful lot of pins here, because Jace, on the one that was here, wrote a six for fire for effect, wrote a six for the blast, it was a 12 inch blast, so pins all over the place. This was just out, pins on them. He's in a serious trouble there. But when the smoke cleared, took out his sniper. And then the other one, that actually delayed and come to here. And I thought, right, it's my go. So I rolled a one, which means miscalculated, and it's got scattered off the board. That's 110 points down the drain. So welcome to turn two. My pans is immobilized, the turret's jammed, it's got six pins on it. Uh, and it's what? And reserves are coming on as well. What a nightmare. <laughs> right. Okay, here we go. It is British. Right, so the first thing he's done is moved his tank forward, passed his test. There is such a narrow, it doesn't look like it, but all he's seeing is the back end of this. So we've agreed an additional minus one. Actually, no, the cover's meant to be um, minus two two isn't it but it doesn't matter even if i did win the argument about minus two because he went and rolled that <sighs>
Right, so it's on the side, so you get plus one to your penetration roll. So strength five. Strength five. Plus, it's six. It's six, six plus his dice roll. Four more. Yes, I know. You're going to roll six. Five. That's so that's a penetrating hit. Mm. Go on then. Four more tanks gone. <laughs> oh, it's a five! What's that to me? Blows up. You can hear the excitement <laughs> in my voice. That's 474 points down the drain. Hey, but look at this way. Don't! <laughs> I'm not, not even remotely interested on how you are going to spin this. You have just taken out my two tanks with cheapy ass guns. The tank rules are broke. Well, let's hope. Oh my oh, god! It's you! Don't! Oh! Hey, at least this one costs more than the last tank. Shut up! <laughs> oh my oh. god! <laughs> Where's my white towel? That's it, I've got. Oh. I'll give in. Unbelievable. Right, okay, I'll be back in a minute. Alright, as you can see, there's lots of black smoke now coming off of a rare species of the tiger tank. Now, someone's done a bit of a strop. Set the corner! I'll carry on shooting up the rest of his vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Christ! <laughs> Bit of good news for me. Jason went to put a fire on that and they went down again. Hooray! Mm. Right, okay. <sighs> Come on, you can do it, Rich. You can do it. German. Okay, I brought my door knocker on. He fired a HE shell into them. One inch blast got four of them and killed three of them. Nearly killed a special. So that was uh, brought my day up a little bit. German again. Okay, so my pioneers come out, submachine guns, shot that squad up, they failed their brake test and ran. The flamers torched the building and killed the sniper and the man inside as well. So that wasn't too bad. Got me a couple of dice, which is nice. Did I give you the dice? Yeah, you got the dice for the tank, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, oh, German again. Oh, I need to think of this one. All right, quick summary of a couple of movements. My... Groups little tank went up there, tried to shoot them, didn't do nothing. This squad advanced up to there, tried to shoot him, didn't do nothing. Um, we're just going to see what Jace does in a sec. Okay, Jace decided to take his chances because he is rolling really well. Get a six on them, he missed. Uh, so I'll be moving them next turn anyway. British again, mate? Right. Okay, Jace fired them, passes morale check, fired them. 12 shots into him, 6 is followed by 6 is. Got a couple of 6 is, but again, never followed it through. Okay, that squad there advanced, shot into them. Jace caused one casualty and turned out to be an LMG, which is a bit annoying. But there we go. Put some pin on you. I've done that. I've already done that. Ah, German. Okay, crazy times, because I'm going without a tank. Um, the MMG... Charged into there, killed the spotter, but took a, a wound back. Almost took the gun out as well. Um, and then this squad come up here, and the MMG, which I've just knocked off, had a shot at them, but didn't do anything. And Jason's just trying to work out what he can do now. Oh, I can't shoot that because I'll be going over there. You, yeah. Yeah. So. You can do indirect, but whatever you're in direct is. No, it's over there. Well, oh, they've you. moved. Well, I can see you anyway. Yeah, but you can't shoot through your own men. No, but I can do indirect. Uh, yes. Even though I can't yeah, but you need a six to hit. Yeah. What seems to happen? Yeah, but then you know. Yeah, but oh, it's fast moving, dust everywhere. We at least we weren't playing the uh, desert rules as such. So uh, I'll just pause this and find out what he does. We're getting to the point now where we might get away with start showing you more without um, summarising. We're just not bothering showing you the sixes followed by sixes because it's just horrendous. We should have. Well, we showed you that. That's horrendous. That's going to get hit by. Another barrage in a minute. Let's do that. Jace advances squad here, fired a load of lead this way, and managed to kill one of my pioneers. And it is 
British again. Right. You're going to have to start bringing your brands on in a minute, mate. I will be. All oh, right, okay. This one first. Right, it's going to do fire. Yeah. Uh, that, right. Yeah, okay, so lead ship of eight. Yep. Yeah, so you lose the pin. Sixes to hit. Why sixes? Oh, you're doing a direct shot? Direct shot, yeah. Oh, because you move them out of the way. Yeah. Right, so... Uh, Three to hit, long range force. Oh, hang on, you better check that. It's, oh. Um, oh, you're a light anti tank, aren't you? It's that's the light anti tank that shoots, yeah. Yeah, so I think that's range 2048. Let me just check. So Jace is planning to put a fire order on them to put an extra pin on them because if I fail to rally and I get a little more pins off that, it's gone anyway. Yeah, so there's yeah. minus one to hit. So it's a three, four. Yeah, that's fine. There's yes. a four. Right, I can ignore. Uh, hang on, I'm a veteran, aren't I? Yeah. Uh, no, sorry. Do you want to redo your shot? Because I, you can't physically penetrate me, so I can ignore that shot. One four plus, isn't it? No, no, I'm a veteran. I ignore it because you can't physically damage me. Oh, right. So oh, do you want to redo that shot somewhere else? Oh. But keep the pass, but just shoot something else. Oh, exactly. So I'm looking at all the bats there. Oh, advance, oh, advance it then, because you pass the pass the. Uh, I think it's only fair. You, uh, that's wrong. Yeah, because it's a veteran. You can't. Oh, you can shoot him on the back side. Yeah, that's what's it. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. That's even better. So that's uh, is, is that point blank range? Might have to put him there anyway. The man with it. Get me even closer. Yes. There you go. Right. So that's Six. negated that, but you're moving, so you're minus one. I won't, I won't hit anyway when I shoot the tank. Oh yeah, you can't do that, can you? Oh right, okay. So you, you hit the tank, didn't you? Yeah. Right, you hit the tank. So that's um plus two. And it's in the side, so it's plus three. That'll do it. It's gone. Boom. Because it's open top, so you oh hang on. Open top doesn't make sense, is it? Oh yeah, it's a vehicle, isn't it? Hang on. Oh, it's, oh, well. So the open top just means it's easy to close combat, you isn't it? Yeah, that's right. That's it. And you can put pins on with small fire. Yeah. Which I can't do with your Daimler. Yeah, we don't do anything with, for the actual damage. At no, all, no, 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 no. Unless you hit with indirect. Yeah. So then you get the plus one for damage for hitting it, for yeah. penetrating, and you get plus one for damage. So, uh, crew stunned. So I'll put that on a down order. And uh, they've taken an additional pin. We think we've done that, well, right? If you go down, don't the vehicle go backwards. No, because I'd already, I'd already um, got performed an action. I can't move. Oh, she can't do anything. You'll be able to use my next. I don't know if I have to put it on down. Hang on. Jason's just rolled. The turret's jammed as well. Hooray! There was much rejoicing. Well, you right. can shoot the minute, huh? Well, I can, yeah, that's true. Ah, uh, uh, there we go. German. Okay, they advance forward. They're still in range of that thing. Pop the pin on them. Would have been funny if I killed one. Uh, British again. Right. Jace just rolled for his first reserve, gonna bring the machine gun on, and he failed. You can try again, sir. Alright, what we'll do, we'll bring on the Brem. Okay. Yeah, Brem's coming on. Right, Jace is starting to bring his reserves on now. This squad has shot at these threes followed by three, uh, threes followed by sixes, uh, fives or sixes. And again, within point blank range. His dice roll's starting to pick up now. Fires to wound. He's always getting the sixes as well. See what I mean? Look at that. Three wounds. That's going to be a break test for them. And potential specials. No. no. So that's another break. That's going to be uh, two three. loaders. How many? Three dead? Three. Oh. And one of them pinned to my sport TV ship. Yep. So six. No, he's gone as well. So that's yours. So you go, now if Jace plays it right, he can bring all his brands over here, boot it over here, he'll end up with um, each squad is worth three victory points. He's got five of them, so that's uh, five brands. That's, um, oh, do transport count? Well, uh, they usually if it's men inside, don't they, do they? It's men inside, yeah, but would you count the t both or would you just count because the men are inside? Uh, both. Probably both? Yeah. Well, if it don't score normally, why would you score in this game? Because, why not? 
Okay, so if Jay's gets, if, if yeah, well, basically, mate, there. if you if you get over this mark here with your five brands, yeah. I've got nothing to hurt him with, and you've got thirty victory points. Yeah. So all this is a holding action over here. Here's your main attack, and I've really got nothing that can take out five brands. And you're forcing me to bring the eighty-eight and anti tank over there. Really. So with his brands and his men, he's wiped out the uh, squad that was here, the machine gun unit that was there, because the squad got out, and then his commanders come on, or second lieutenant, lucky shots right across the board, took one of the mortar team out, and now it's the Germans go to bring something else on or do something. Okay. So what I've done is, I've done a snap two with him, I advanced him up to there, ran the medic over to there, and then the dice come up me, and I've run my sniper team, uh, sniper team, anti-tank team over there to try and start targeting the brands. And I've rallied my tank there and only managed to remove two pins, which is an absolute nightmare. And I've still got that to explode everywhere in a minute. And he's just got that squad out because he's going to take a pot shot at them. Because yep. we didn't say the walls will block line of sight. It's four shots. Are you, do I get, because I'm... No, I won't get a cover safe because I'm running at the moment, aren't I? Right. Uh, four shots. Threes, four, moving three. fours, long range fives. A small target. Sixes. And these are regular, so you need fours to win them. Oh, it's nice to film some dice rolls. Uh, fours to wound. No, no. but you get a pin. Get another pin. Okay. German. Right, so all I've got left is my squad in that Hannah mag, the 88 and the anti-tank. Okay, so just a summary of the last part of turn two. Uh, the anti-tank gun has come out there, drawn a bead onto that gun there or onto them there. Um, the 88 is deployed, drawn a bead onto that one there. That one there, those men, those men. So the 88 is actually in a good place, and I haven't got a spotter, so I need him to do that. I need the dice to come up German to make this game a tiny bit more interesting. We've got to do the, yeah. So that's the end of turn two. Welcome to turn three. And of course, what we got to do is that. Uh, oh, I need three. Three, that's delayed, but you can move it 12 inches, sir. Oh, can I really? Yes, you can. Oh, such fun. <laughs> well, guess what? That's going to go 12 inches towards my 88. How did you guess? Oh, I know, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Because of 12 inches to your other gun. Yeah, you're not that stupid, though, are you? No, I'm going to go 12 inches to your radiator. There we go. Go right there. Because then it'll go boom. It will go boom. boom. Right, here we go. <laughs> Turn three. I need this to be German so much. Oh, yay! Right, okay. Um, let me think. Take some off the tiger. Right, so that's... He's taking the smoke off the tiger, the insult. <laughs> that's fired. Shot at the Crusader, took it out. Only just, mind. Got a good hit. Uh, it's an automatic penetration because it's not over long range, so I don't suffer the minus one for long range kinetic energy. But I only rolled a one for the... Um, damage penetration, so that became a seven, eight. Oh no, eight! Superficial. What's that mean? I rolled a five minus two. I was immobilized. Immobilized. Yeah, you're immobilized. Oh, so so you take an additional pin, so you get two pins and do a do turret damage. No. Ah, oh, Nini had you. So you do get to shoot back. Oh, well, that's nice, isn't it? Because the turret's not immobilized. No, so you can turn to shoot at me. Yeah. Right. British. I'd do that if I were you before I eat you with a door knocker. Well, no, because you might shoot me that one. Oh, that's a good point, yeah. Yeah, see? Yeah. Uh... Nah. I want to film this. Right, Jace is firing this Bren at my heavy anti tank gun. It's eight shots, sixes uh, are needed. Yeah, sixes. What's your, your veteran? Yeah. Your veteran, yeah. yeah that's three hits. Right, on veterans, you would normally need fives, but I've got a gun shield, so you need sixes. sixes. But at least it's a pin. Yeah. Oh, oh two, two sixes, two Ooh. dead. Can I, I can't. You can't kill the gun. No. But that's half a squad. Oh, oh. No, they're fine. So that's a pin. There's no leaders as such. 
and that's a pin. Cool. <laughs> lucky. That would have been that would have been massive. Good shooting. Yeah, it was, yeah. That was good shooting. Oh, bridge again, R rinse and uh, repeat. Well, he's just realised his. Uh, it's a Churchill, isn't it? Yeah. It's Churchill's got two MMGs, so he's going to throw ten shots into them. Sixes. One. Followed by sixes. What is it? Oh yeah. Yeah, because I've got gun M shield. M MMG doesn't make a difference, no. does it? No. Yeah. No. Right. So that's fine. Still a hit another pin. So still another pin. Okay, so um, took a lot of shots, out of fire, needed force to hit, missed the tank. What are you doing with that one? I'm not now, I'll just put the doctor down. I'm all right. Yeah. Uh, it's all going to kick off over in a minute. Can't believe my 88 didn't take out your tank. I mean, anybody watching this and follows, you know how dire I am with my <laughs> dice. It's ridiculous. I mean, my target's done nothing. Right, I'm going to do a, do a leash test on this one. Yep. It's a fire. Door yep. Uh, leads you with 987. No, it goes down. Goes down, nice. Got to reverse back half the distance. So you got to go about four inches, four and a half. Because there's enemy in line of sight. Oh, hang on. No, you can't. You're immobilized. Oh, yeah. Fix my yeah, for a little bit. <laughs> right. Okay. British again. British again. Right. In that case, we will. He's done it again. <laughs> they charged in there, took up me tank, a little Gruber inside. Right. British again. All right. And what's that? That was for them. Yeah. That should be a charge order. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and. I can't find it. Oh, it's a run in there. I'm looking for a yeah. charge there, run. I'm trying to do a passive leadership test. Yep, on. On these. Yep. And I'm going to shoot the door knocker. Door knocker. Yep, okay. Leadership of uh, 987. Six. Yeah, finally. Okay, so that's uh, three, four, long range fives. He's got it. Plus five to the damage, uh, plus four because you're over long range. Uh, that's seven, so that's a superficial hit. So it's a D6 minus three. That's a fire. So hang on a minute. Right. He passed the morale check with his anti tank, hit my door knocker, caused a superficial hit, set it on fire. I failed my morale check. Then it killed the forward observer and there, he burnt to a crisp as well. Oh, horrible. Right, so it's not looking good here. It's getting to the point where I won't be able to catch up with Jace anyway. So let's see if I can just make a fight of it. Oh, no, I'm not. Right, give us two dice because I'm doing Oh, snap to as well. There we go. All right. And we'll come back and see what he does. Right, Jace has done a snap to, he's run one water into the tree because then he can draw a line of sight onto that because he's lost his spotter. But the other spotter for the mortar is here and he's directed the shots off from them onto the 88. Go on, Jace, you know you're going to roll it. Six is to hit. Yay! <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to call this in a minute. It's, I, can't, I just can't win against this sort of dice rolls. Right, okay, so uh, it's a two inch blast, isn't it? Uh, no, it's a medium light mortar, isn't it? No, medium mortar. Yeah, it's a two inch blast. So that's going to be at least four men now. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Right, oh, okay. I don't get the gun shield, so fives needing, it's plus three, so we're looking at ones and twos for failure. Oh, I I missed one. one, so he's killed four. Yeah, because that's um, plus three to all of them. So he killed four, that's half a squad. Uh, it does how many pins? Oh, yeah, uh, D3, isn't it? Is it? I don't know, hang on. Well, we might as well film this. So he's killed four of the men there, put two pins on them. I've got to take a break test. Oh, that's right, they passed. That's not good, not good at all. It's a blue off screen, isn't it? Not only that, you've now zoomed in, zeroed in. So there's yeah. two to hit. Yeah. German, right, hang on. 
Yep, there we go. Right, so um, this game's all but done because there's really not a lot I can do about it. I'm having just dire dice rolls. The only saving grace is, is, is um, if we do another turn, he'd probably take all this out. But I'm in point blank range. I don't suffer minuses for shooting the SMGs. I've got the flamer there. I'll do it now. He missed. <laughs> <laughs> Two, four, six, eight, ten. One, two, four, six, eight, ten. Two's to hit. Tell you, man, I should have charged you. That's not bad. Three's to wound, a force to wound. Three. Three. Three dead. I could have charged you. Why'd you listen to me? Oh, yeah, why did I listen to you? <laughs> Well, uh, no, you didn't charge me because you knew they would die when it exploded. Yeah, well, I could have consolidated away. Oh, yeah. oh seriously <laughs> bad game. <laughs> right, all right, pause right. that then. Right, got a bit of luck there. The uh, anti tank uh, went to fire at them and missed, thankfully. Yeah, this has been a bad game. Blue, so that's going to be you. You still got your Dame Lot to bring on. <laughs> Good, yeah, haven't I? <laughs> well, you don't need it. Yeah, bring it on. <laughs> you can take that out. <laughs> don't need to. I don't need to. Yeah, he's on. Yeah, he's on. You still got two. He's still got two. <laughs> still got that on. Oh, my God. Hang on a minute. Right, not being funny. We might as well call this in a minute. Yeah. And they go 12, innit? Yeah. I should have charged them. I could have wiped that out. Got me another dice. Right. He's going to shoot that one. Yeah. Uh, he's got a light anti tank gun, so it's, it'd be fours. Hang on. Fives. So, hang on. It's not a range, mate. It's over 24. Oh. Yeah, it's... it's over 24. It's over 24. Yeah, right. It's yeah. five six then. No. no. Right, okay. In all seriousness, mate, do you think it's any point us carrying on? No, because it's not really funny. That's going to disappear. I've got them to shoot still. Yeah. Um, my anti tank gun. Well, anti well not being funny. <laughs> if he could shoot that, yeah. if he got exceptional, he'd take the gun out because it's got a plus two to the penetration. You're going to be really successful. Well, yeah, you'll, you'll pass that now the way but it's yeah, going. Yeah, I'm not really funny. I've got all this. Yeah. Yeah, I can't see any. Help. Guys, it's. it's, it's, it's I've got that. And he's still got it. It's uh, there's probably a reason why you don't go over a certain points value in this, and it's it's just been, from my point of view, a disastrous game. Losing me tank so quickly, my man, my eighty eight only scratched, immobilised a tank. It's just, it's been for me a dire game. I know, probably not too much fun for you lot to watch either. But what we'll do, we'll have a little wrap up, and uh, yeah, we're we're gonna call it there. I'll, I'll concede, mate. It's just no point carrying on. So uh, we'll be back um, with the write-up. Wow. <laughs> We're quite okay. about the... Talk about it. Sorry, because Rich... I don't want to talk about it. Because <laughs> Rich had more of a, an elite force with all your veterans and everything else, what costs a lot. Once you start losing units yeah. or key units, they're right. expensive. It does affect big yeah. time. But my dice roll was horrendous. The first time, well, I think I fielded a field observer, forward observer, um, in our first battle, and then I never bothered since. No, you didn't. And then I, sorry about the creak in this chest. Um, and then I fielded a forward observer, got a shot off, and it scattered off the board. Great, fantastic. And then he burned in an explosion of the Hannah Mag. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Taking my tank out so easy. You immobilized one, put loads of pins on it. You took out my Tiger, a piece of cake. And then my 88 got hit by a, a lucky shot of a mortar. So you zeroed in on that. It was just, uh, it was, uh, there was no way I was going to win that game. No matter how lucky I got with the dice rolls. Um, so it would have been boring to watch, and it was probably not the best battle we've filmed. And no. I was talking to Jace afterwards, and I said, that wasn't fun to film. 
And he was like, why is that? I said, because we're not filming the dice rolls. It was such a big game, I was thinking, is it worth filming that dice rolls? Or shall I summarise it? And I bet, as sure as eggs is eggs, I forgot to say some of the stuff we did. Um, that's a new sort of format for us if we're doing bigger games, but I think it's really hard for a bolt action game because it's you never know who's going to come up next. Should I film that dice rolls? A lot of the dice rolls were sixes followed by sixes, which is always a bit boring. But then I'm thinking, do I film that one or do I film that? Because I've filmed every dice roll with such a big game like that, it, it, it'd be hours long, yeah, and that's boring to watch. We like to try and keep it around the 90 minute or less. Yeah. So from our point of view, it's probably boring to film. So it's going to be not the best one to watch. There's some funny moments in there, I'm sure, if you're a British player. <laughs> if you're a German player, I do apologise. I am absolutely dire with the so Germans. The bigger the game, the more you are getting in the way of each other, aren't they? Yeah. So it's a lot. Because we've said, when, when we do um, a big 40k game, that'll be easier to summarise because you it's my goal. So I'll just move all my men. Uh, there's a couple of key psychic ones I want to do, so we'll film them, we'll summarise the rest of the psychic, and then we'll do the shooting, I'll keep a couple of units we'll shoot. You kind of can't do that with bow action, because you never know whether it's going to be your yeah. turn or not. Um, so yeah, that was too big a game, I think. I thought it'd be fun to um, do the last mission like that. I was wrong. I mean, I, I, mean, I had three, four, no, three, you had five, five units, units off the board. Yeah. You didn't even need them. Didn't even need them. That was horrendous. Veterans, I think, are great. They're so hard to take out. But once they start dropping, oh, God, do not it hurt? Yeah, but then you've got veteran tanks where they cost a lot. Oh, God. The target went from 395 to 474. And got taken out by a cheapy... cheap. What's it called? What's your tank called? Churchill. Churchill, yeah. It's not cheap. It's 270 points. Or 75 points. Right, well, for my Tiger, I could have had another Panzer three and the F2 Special. Yeah. And had a legal Dak Army. Yeah. So I, I paid the price for not fielding the proper army thing. Yeah. <sighs> but have you got any hints from Rich? <laughs> Please get them. <laughs> Talk them in the comments, because... Try a different army. <laughs> God. So, obviously, um, we haven't got new armies for Europe yet. Uh, so what we're going to do to keep the boat action ticking over, we're going to do some of the other missions again. We're, we might have a free-for-all and just say, just like, we'll make engage some, and make destroy and missions. make our own missions, something like that. Uh, but what we will do is... is We'll go back over the videos and find out who was the attacker and defender and kind of play them again as well. So you'll defend and I'll attack yeah. and see how that works out. Because they were, they were good. there was a couple of good fights in that. So, yeah, that was that's all 12 missions in the standard book. I know people want us to do, and I can't think of the name of it, as a game in the Western Desert where the Germans outnumber the British two to one. So I might get a draw on that one. <laughs> I doubt I'll win that either. And they defended a mosque or something. I can't remember what it's called. Mazza. As long as there's no reserves, be alright. Oh, yeah, your reserves. It's reserves are horrendous, uh, as usual. Um, but that's it. So that's the standard games in there. We'll redo a couple of them and reverse the roles as attacker and defender, see how that works out. We'll do a couple of games from the Western Deserts. I know I need more men, it's time and money, and of course we've got to paint, because we paint all our own stuff, we've got to paint the other armies we need for the games. Yeah. <sighs> so it's a tall order, but hopefully <laughs> I'll start getting some stuff for Europe as well. I know we keep going on about it, so we'll go to Europe later, I would hope within the next two, three months. What is it now? June? Say July, August, September. Let's see if we can get to Europe in September, end of September, beginning of October. Just left you. Huh? No, not not Europe. No, no, <laughs> not the Union. <laughs> <laughs> Go to. <laughs> yes, I did. Do we? <laughs> That's what they had to vote for. Leave, leave <laughs> Africa. 
go to Europe, have a few fights in Europe, and then come then back me. to and then leave Europe. <laughs> And then come back to Africa and see if I've got more infantry, or I might try and build a small Italian force. I'll probably do really well with the Italians. Maybe. <laughs> probably not. Right. Fingers crossed. Anyway, it's uh, second edition next time. Yes, with vehicles. With vehicles. 1500 points, second edition. So see how that goes. So I'm Rich. And I'm Jace. Victory for the British. We'll see you next week. What a way to do the anniversary. <laughs> yeah.